Ambition is the difference between leading and being led. Deep down, it's in us all. The desire to reach our full potential, to make things better, to achieve something meaningful, to make an impact. Of course, living it every day isn't easy, but resting on our laurels has never been in our DNA. Sturgeon County has ambitious communities. We start things here, and we're never satisfied with the status quo. We are closely connected with our neighbors, and we work together to drive this place forward. This place has deep roots. Our communities are made stronger by those who make it their home. The First Nations people who first marked trails here, the Métis for whom this is an ancestral homeland, and the settlers who have worked the same soil for over a century. Generations of heart and hard work have gotten us to where we are today. We are a place of opportunity. We're developing diverse industries that take advantage of rich soil, natural resources, and progressive economic ideas. People are innovating across the board, on family farms, in the industrial heartland, and in emerging projects like clean energy, hydrogen, and agribusiness. The jobs of the future live here, striving for balance with our rural way of life. Over the years, one thing has never changed. Our stunning wide open spaces, from rolling emerald hills to trails running past the icy blue Sturgeon River. This is some of the most beautiful country on earth. It's prairie like nowhere else, and it enriches the soul. We're invested in keeping it that way. Everything that shapes us is held together by community values. We know our success comes from partnerships, and we work hard at nurturing our connections with small towns, big cities, First Nations, and Métis people. In our local communities, we pride ourselves on lending a hand to our neighbors and getting behind their ideas. Whether you just moved in or your family has been here for generations, we take care of each other. There's power in collective ambition and shared values, and we welcome everyone who's ready to join us. Welcome to Sturgeon County. What a better way to uh, start the annual State of the County Address than to share our exciting new Sturgeon County brand. In fact, the centerpieces on your table uh, today has our new logo on it and are a gift to you to take home or back to your office. Uh, I'd li also like to thank everyone for joining us here at the uh, Villeneuve Airport today. I realize it's a bit of a drive for some of you, but uh, it also offers you the opportunity to see for yourself just what is uh, held within the potential of the Villeneuve Airport area. As you can see on your drive out here, Sturgeon County is a place of wide open spaces. We are a community of ambition and opportunity. And we are home to people who understand and appreciate the value of community. And we are a community of history with deep roots that spans generations of diverse cultures. We've done some work recently to align our vision and the vision of Sturgeon County in a way that respects and celebrates our history, and it is my honor to share that with you today. As you can see, I have some special guests here to help me tell you about some of the key initiatives underway at Sturgeon County. I have uh, Deputy Mayor Neil Como from Division 4. I've got uh, Jennifer Lavalley, Manager of Corporate Planning and Intergovernmental Services, and then Tyler Westover, who most of you know, He's our Director of Economic Development and Ecosystem Services. So we've started by announcing the new Sturgeon County brand, but Deputy Mayor Como, can you uh, share the approach that Council took for this rebrand? Sure. Uh, Rebranding re in municipality starts by defining our community in the unique ways that distinguish it from others. The important things we value are culture. It must be done in ways that respects the community itself. There are people in the county whose families have been here for generations and we must acknowledge and respect this history and while moving ahead to create new history and one of those families is in the building today, the Sudart family, council acknowledges that residents are attached to the community's brand 
and may question why that change was needed. A brand is more than a logo. Brands have the power to connect people and develop a sense of place. It tells the story about who we are, what we value, and what distinguishes us from other places. We've had much change, much of the same elements in the county's logo for decades with very little change. While this has served us well for the past 40 years or so, the brand doesn't reflect how Sturgeon County has changed over the past few years. I agree with you, Deputy Mayor. Sturgeon County is definitely evolving. We are modern and innovative, both as a municipality and as a community. Sturgeon County is leading in many ways by creating strategic partnerships like the Villeneuve Landing Network and the Edmonton Region Hydrogen Hub. We also have great innovators in the community from agriculture to aerospace, and our potential is limited only by our imagination. Adjusting the brand is a way to tell our story that is respectful of the history and the culture, but acknowledges that we have become something and that we will continue to grow and evolve. The result is an exciting story of all of the opportunities in Sturgeon County. Sturgeon County is truly a place of opportunity, of ambition, of community values, wide open spaces, and deep roots. There is no doubt that Sturgeon County has many opportunities in front of us, but we must move forward both strategically and thoughtfully. We have been undergoing many modernization initiatives. We've updated our vision, our strategic plan, our corporate planning, along with the new county brand. Jennifer Lavallee is our manager of corporate planning and intergovernmental services, and she has led many of these initiatives. So Jennifer, can you provide us with a quick overview of the county's new strategic plan and how that plan is guiding our uh, work today and our future work as well? Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. <clears throat> I'm incredibly pleased to be sharing some important updates about the work we have underway at Sturgeon County regarding our strategic planning. Late last year, Sturgeon County took a bold step in implementing a new approach to how we plan. Under Council's direction, um, a new strategic plan was developed and approved, which in its total is one page long. We lovingly refer to it as our plan on a page. Using a very practical lens, we became uncommonly concise in the world of corporate planning. Uh, we removed all unnecessary content and we prioritized plain language. Our plan certainly packs a punch and every single word included in our strategic plan was intentionally put there. Anyone in this room can pick up our strategic plan and understand who we are as a community and where we want to go. Our plan highlights five community goals and we're actively working to achieve plan growth, thriving communities, environmental stewardship, collaborative governance, and operational excellence. Under our new strategic plan, we're thoughtfully poised as we realize our efforts in international competitiveness, in being an undeniably attractive place to grow and sustain business and more. Our plan on a page also features um, 10 strategic priorities. These are directions from our council to admin that indicate which actions they believe we should undertake to meet our goals. In this context, the partnership between council and admin is laser focused on moving together in the same direction. It's very exciting to see community progress under our new strategic plan. Uh, for example, we have a strong coordinated effort to set our industries, like those delivering energy solutions, ag, aerospace, and more up for success. We're seeing communities flourish and the establishment of new connections. And this is true in the digital sense with significant funding for broadband and enhanced internet connectivity, and in the physical sense as well with the prioritization around trail networks and open space development. A key element of our strategic plan is being good environmental stewards, uh, which we're evidencing in projects like our environmentally sensitive area initiative to identify and preserve these lands. Sturgeon County is a proud member of the Edmonton Metropolitan Region and other communities like Alexander First Nation. We're partnering with AFN and together in friendship, developing a mechanism to ensure that we have continued collaboration and establish meaningful connections. Under our goal of collaborative governance, we are actively taking action to address truth and reconciliation. 
Under our innovative planning approach, dedication to thoughtful implementation, and careful monitoring efforts, Sturgeon County is carrying out our community vision. And so I'll leave you with that today. In Sturgeon County, we offer a rich tapestry of historical, cultural, and natural experiences. We are a municipality that honors our rural roots, cultivates desirable communities, and provides world-class ag, energy, and business investment opportunities. Sturgeon County prioritizes responsible stewardship, and I hope if you can read between the lines of our strategic plans, you'll see that in Sturgeon County, we certainly dream big. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. Our strategic plan sets the framework for how the county uh, moves forward in a financially sustainable manner through the annual and now a multi-year budgeting. With the passing of a new capital budgeting policy this last spring, council is now developing the first multi-year capital budget for the county. From 2023 to 2025, we plan to invest almost $90 million into our community by improving roads, bridges, parks, and open spaces for recreation, and ensure that critical services to our residents continue to be provided. Adopting these leading practices will also position the county to be future ready, planning for our community's long-term growth and for further investments from industry. Being future ready also involves modernizing the way that the county manages its finances. For example, the county's uh, debt levels are kept low, and this is a prudent approach that provides the ability to undertake strategic priority projects such as the Community Broadband Initiative uh, that we've had to undertake on our own uh, due to lack of provincial or federal uh, grant funding. Additionally, we have established financially stable components, including uh, keeping a close eye on our financial services using reserve targets. Having our financial reserves at the target levels provides uh, flexibility for us to be able to respond to emergencies uh, that may uh, happen in our community. Also supports us in maintaining our service levels and capitalizing on opportunities to be efficient and effective uh, as we provide services to our taxpayers. Regarding efficiency and effectiveness, we have also implemented a centralized procurement team to standardize the county's purchasing. This is another example of modernizing our operations and ensuring that taxpayers get the most value for money while delivering high quality of services. So in doing this work, we are seeing how many of our actions and activities are integrated and interconnected through an ecosystem approach. More specifically, how we ensure that the county is competitive through the changes in our energy systems and through the changes in the digitized world. Ambition is the difference between leading and being led. Deep down, it's in us all, the desire to reach our full potential, to make things better. Sturgeon County is located on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional lands of Alexander First Nation and a gathering place of First Nations, Inuit and Métis people. Together, we have an ambitious plan to make things better. A quote from Alana Natchu, Mayor of Sturgeon County and Chair of the Edmonton Region Hydrogen Hub. Sturgeon County is inspiring the evolution of rural communities in Canada. We're doing this by demonstrating the importance of partnerships and building connections. We are creating ecosystems that allow us to identify and explore the remarkable opportunities that we have here in Canada for rural and Indigenous communities. We've made a positive impact with our founding partnership in Edmonton Region Hydrogen Hub, and this success continues to motivate action and innovation in Sturgeon County. A quote by Chief George Arcan Jr. of Alexander First Nation. Alexander First Nation and Sturgeon County are working to create a new reality for our communities. Our future is dictated by our ambitions, but more importantly, by our actions. Together, Alexander First Nation and Sturgeon County are driving change to make things better for our communities and for all Canadians. Hi, hi. Using an ecosystem approach, Sturgeon County and Alexander First Nation will collaborate on initiatives for growth, like hydrogen for residential and commercial heating, development of waste to resource opportunities, and low-carbon transportation systems. 
Sturgeon County is situated on a large portion of the Alberta industrial heartland, which offers significant emissions reduction opportunities through world-class hydrogen production, carbon capture and storage capabilities, and low-cost feedstock. The county has also played a leadership role in the creation of the Edmonton Region Hydrogen Hub, the first of its kind in Canada. We are leveraging our leadership on initiatives to create better outcomes for people. We are navigating the intersection of technology, municipal and industrial systems, economic investment, and social and environmental responsibility on the road to more sustainable solutions. We are leading by example by adopting and exploring low carbon initiatives at the municipal level. We can build smarter towns and communities with the ability to make operational decisions based on data. This is why Sturgeon County made the bold commitment to partner with a private sector business, Canadian Fiber Optics, to bridge the digital divide by building our own fiber optic network to enhance internet speeds in the county. With a population projected to surpass 68,000 and thousands of new jobs coming to the region, our eyes are on developing diverse industries at the Villeneuve Airport and in the heartland. We have the experience, the people, and the infrastructure to navigate the road ahead. Through a socially and economically sustainable ecosystem approach, we will build healthy and thriving communities by ensuring underrepresented groups are supported. We know there are unlimited opportunities to drive systems efficiency across our region and entice more investment and economic growth. We also know that private interest follows public commitment. Join us as we develop this innovative ecosystem, a bold new vision for the digital and energy evolution. There is no question that Sturgeon County is ambitious and the ecosystem video barely uh, scratches the surface of what's happening within Sturgeon County. So I'll look to Tyler Westover, our Director of Economic Development Ecosystem Services, uh, to be able to give you a, a quick rundown of how that approach works from an economic development uh, perspective. Great. Thank you, Mayor. So Sturgeon County is creating a model for rural and Indigenous communities. Ultimately, what this is, is to, to meet the needs of the new energy evolution as we're seeing it right before our eyes. Uh, ultimately, it's an integrated approach because rural and Indigenous communities have oftentimes a lot of space, large geographical areas, and sparsely populated. So we need to be able to find these distributed markets to be able to meet demand and, and showcase demand at scale for producers that are here, here now, and wanting to transition along with us. So ultimately what that allows for us is to have some cost-effective solutions while we are transitioning uh, our energy systems in Canada and being able to have some excellent job growth, sustainable job growth for people as we move along without having folks left behind and that is so critical for us here. So it's about the acceleration of the, de of the development of the energy ecosystem of hydrogen use, of low carbon fuel use uh, as we move ahead and having that be a cost-effective solution for communities really across Canada. So that is what you're seeing build out here in Sturgeon County, here within the region, with our partners at the table along with us. So some of the focus here is um, prioritized. Uh, three main priorities that we do have, you saw in the video here as well. Low carbon hydrogen use for municipal and commercial vehicle fleets. That could be with dual fuel use. That's ultimately to hopefully look at some of the hydrogen uh, fuel cell conversions as we move ahead. Home and commercial heating and power generation. So uh, the potential of hydrogen blending and pure hydrogen use as we move forward in our communities. And then waste to resource opportunities that's ultimately, ultimately meant to underpin and support circular economy opportunities that we see um, not only here in Sturgeon County and in the region, but across the country and across truly the globe, it's starting to be more of a focus. So we want to make sure we hit those priorities well uh, and want to make sure that we're um, really leading the charge within the region. The other underpin uh, to the ecosystem approach here is that we do have an immense opportunity. We have an immense advantage within this region. We have low cost hydrogen, low carbon fuels that are being produced here now, along with very strong uh, carbon capture utilization and storage technologies and projects that are in place operational now. So let's keep in mind, Alberta at this point, it also has about 2.4 million tons of hydrogen produced annually. 
And we do have an operational, the world's largest operational carbon capture utilization and storage project that is the Alberta Carbon Trunk Line in Sturgeon County. So it's our, it starts here. Immense opportunity for all of us here in the room. Um, ultimately, what we're needing to do, what we're wanting to do, what our aims are, is to look at testing, demonstrating, and commercializing at an extremely fast pace. So that is what we are doing with our partners at the table, with those suppliers that we're engaged with as well, those producers, uh, and once again, showcasing those distributed markets at scale for all of us to be able to see in the rest of Canada truth out and to actually form and mature over time. So the main point for us is, once again, to bring folks along with us on this. We want to ensure there's good training opportunities, um, that there are sustainable jobs that we see well into the future, and we also recognize that there is going to need to be multiple partners at the table and public support for this as well. So it's important for us that it's acknowledged that we will need to stimulate this together. We will need to ensure that the acceleration is taking place with all of us at the table here, but it is not necessarily dependent on continuous government subsidies as we move forward. We need to prove this out with private industry being able to take opportunities uh, at their disposal as well. The other piece for us, as we move ahead into the future, these are just some of the top tier priorities that we're seeing. Villeneuve Airport, for many of you in the room, we would have engaged with you uh, for the Villeneuve Airport area master plan. There were four key concepts that came out of, our, uh, out of that master plan. So Villeneuve uh, Agri Innovation Hub, the Aviation and Aerospace Centre, uh, Villeneuve Eco Park, uh, and the Great Northern Logistics Park are all a part of this transition with us and have the applications of hydrogen and low carbon fuels to those systems there as well. So do encourage you to look at them on sturtoncounty.ca um, or connect with us anytime. We could talk you to death, uh, but certainly do appreciate um, your guys' interest in this and mirror yourself, council support and the community support. Thank you, Tyler. Sturgeon County is definitely a, a vibrant municipality with quality farmland, uh, world-class uh, industry, and uh, residential options to fit almost every need. We have much to offer in the region, except broadband. So, yeah, in, and you probably saw some of that work occurring on the way out. Uh, it was in the ditches, so that is a good thing. In 2022, the, the Edmonton Metropolitan Region Board completed an analysis regarding internet connectivity and determined that improving the broadband connectivity across the Edmonton region could enable economic recovery and increase the GDP by up to $1 billion per year. At the municipal level, deploying broadband infrastructure could generate over $188 million per year, including over $2.7 million in Sturgeon County. Unfortunately, residents and businesses in rural communities cannot reap these benefits due to the lack of high-speed internet. Quite simply, unreliable and slow internet connectivity is the most significant change to rural Albertans and the impacts are immense. We explored various options, including trying to gain access to funding through the Universal Broadband Fund, but the county was not eligible for funding from the province or the federal grants, provincial or federal grants. Waiting any longer could mean that the further county the further the county would lag behind. So Sturgeon County Council made the bold decision to move ahead and commit over 7.5 million to start bridging broadband into, bringing broadband into our region. The first phase includes the region west of Highway 2 and south of Highway 642 and starts right here at the Villeneuve Airport. Through an innovative partnership with Canadian Fiber Optics Corporation, we have already started construction on the first phase and will be bringing high speed fiber to more than half of the residential and commercial properties in the first phase of the core service area. Having high speed internet equivalent to urban centers is a game changer for our residents as well as many businesses, including here at the Villeneuve Airport. Our ability to move forward with broadband was the result of a partnership with Canadian Fiber Optics and shows how our approach to partnerships has evolved. This partnership allows the county to incentivize timely delivery of service to the phase one area with a focus on meeting appropriate service standards, ensuring affordability to residents and businesses and ensuring future scalability. Uh, the broadband project was a bold step, but as a council, we know that waiting was just putting us further behind. 
Uh, and this goes just beyond broadband. We are all facing rising carbon taxes, emission reduction targets, and clean fuel standards. Uh, this is a global movement, and all of us, whether it be government, industry, or in our own personal lives, uh, have a role to play. There was a lot of discussion in the ecosystem video about hydrogen and its potential to be able to move forward into a future with low carbon hydrogen where that can support a range of sectors including industry, transportation, heating, power generation, and as well as access a significant export market, upwards of 2.5 to $12 trillion by 2050. Getting into this uh, future is not something that can be done alone, uh, which is why Sturgeon County is proud to be a driving force in the creation of the Edmonton Metro Region Hydrogen Hub, which is the first of its kind in Canada. The hub is an alliance of government, indigenous, academic, and economic development leaders working together to implement a regional hydrogen strategy and an economy that will make the Edmonton region Alberta and Canada leaders in clean energy. Clean energy that is a growing global demand. The first Canadian Hydrogen Convention was recently held in the region in the city of Edmonton. It was a major success. A big shout out to Edmonton Global and all of the hub members who came together to showcase what the region has to offer to the world. Over 20 countries participated in the event and planning is already underway for next year as this is now an annual event with a 10-year commitment to the Edmonton region. The Edmonton region is uh, unique. We know how to make, distribute and use hydrogen right now. We are Canada's leading industrial user of hydrogen and able to produce some of the lowest cost hydrogen in the world. Sturgeon County has the experience the expertise and the leadership needed to be first movers in the hydrogen economy. Regardless of our ambition and our opportunities, ultimately we are a community of people. The decisions and actions that we take as a council are here to ensure financial stability of our community for this generation and those to come. In fact, it has become more apparent that we need to encourage our community to engage and involve youth in leadership. And, uh, and with that, I'll let Deputy Mayor Como give an update to youth involvement. Council approved an update to the council committees and board's bylaw to include a new youth advisory committee. The youth advisory committee will be made up of two council members, likely Councillor Toms, and 11 public members between 16 and 24 years of age. The committee will have the mandate to advise council on issues relating to youth in the community and we're excited about their opportunity to engage with youth in Sturgeon County. Recruitment will begin later this summer and will be shared on the county's website, our social media channels, newspapers and more. Word of mouth is also a great recruitment tool so we hope that those of you here today encourage Sturgeon County youth you may know to apply. As many of you know, Sturgeon County has some of the most beautiful natural scenery and we are investing in preserving these important assets. The county is growing and we want to ensure that future development includes open spaces, parks and trails for the use and enjoyment of residents and visitors to our community. Open spaces enhance the quality of life and well-being, which Council recently approved the Open Spaces Master Plan. We have also invested over $1.5 million in capital projects, including uh, many natural spaces, park improvements, and planning studies. These initiatives will increase opportunities that present or represent rather our ambitions, our community values, and our deep roots. Sturgeon County boasts a collection of over 4,000 acres of open spaces in various forms of pristine natural ecosystems, such as forested areas, wetlands, manicured urban parks that also include playgrounds, trails, and sports fields. Through our open space master plan, we are creating the guidelines that help to protect our natural environment, support environmental conservation, and protect and enhance county-owned natural spaces for present and future generations. Just this past weekend, Sturgeon County was selected as the Alberta Trail Net Society's recipient of their annual Trailblazer Award. 
The award recognizes Sturgeon County's long-standing support and involvement in the development of trails within the entire region. While we invest in and protect our open spaces, we know that a significant part of our past and present is agriculture, an industry that, will, that we will continue to support well into the future. And that's why in 2021, uh, Council initiated an agribusiness and agritourism review by forming a task force comprised of uh, public members and uh, some councillors as well. I'll let uh, Deputy Mayor Como give you an update of the outcome of that task force. The task force was designed to evaluate and bring forward recommendations to Council related to economic opportunities, regulatory requirements, landowner perspectives, and overall best practices for supporting agribusiness and agritourism in Sturgeon County. Council puts high value on supporting agriculture in the community. It is the foundation of our community. But we also recognize that the agriculture of the past is not the agriculture of the future. And we want to ensure we have the mechanism, mechanisms in place to support our local producers as they diversify their business and work to secure the future of farming. The task force heard from a cross-section of the county's agricultural sector, area landowners, planning experts, and other stakeholders through surveys and presentations. The final report of recommendations was presented to Council and included proposed changes to the county's land use bylaw and ways we can improve communication and information about the agricultural sector and exploration of future economic development and development opportunities. Council has already given first reading of the bylaw that, process to, that proposes amendments to the land use bylaw, including adding definitions and amending agricultural district. We are holding a public hearing at our next meeting on June 14th, and we look forward to input from the community on these proposed changes. And I'm just going to do a couple of shameless plugs if I can. West Country Hearth, Hearth Attack, September 10th. For any businesses that want to feel free to come out and run in it. There's sponsorship opportunities. Colleen is sitting there. She will uh, definitely take your opportunity to write your name down on a list. As well as this weekend, June 11th, the Ride for Dad in River Kabar, which that obviously is a good cause that all of us should support if you can. Um, and then a final note, just to embarrass someone on this panel, we have a recently published author right here that we need to give a round of applause for. You're welcome. <laughs> Nature is an Artist, I believe, is the name of the children's mm -hmm. book for any of you that uh, kids in your life. Jen's going <laughs> to make us I may be that, that kid. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we have some very ambitious plans, and we are firmly uh, committed to being competitive on many fronts. Our new brand speaks to opportunity, ambition, community, values, wide open spaces, and deep roots. For over 100 years, Sturgeon County has grown and evolved, and so has our community. We have taken bold and innovative steps. Our investments in broadband will ensure that Sturgeon County is not left behind in the digital world. The opportunities we are leading in hydrogen can move us towards a significantly lower emissions in our energy future and help protect our environment and ensure that our residents and businesses have the means that they need to succeed. We want to attract investment that benefits our community using planned growth strategies that provide a balance between future development and protecting our land. This is not a journey that we can compete or complete totally on our own. We will continue to build the relationships and the partnerships with those who share a similar vision in our future. We are a modern and innovative community that respects its deep roots as we seize opportunities to grow into the new future. It is truly the difference between being, between leading or being led. And there's a few type A personalities. <laughs> so we, we know where we all <laughs> want to be there. Uh, a special thanks to uh, Synergy Aviation who's done an amazing job uh, for hosting us in their uh, center here. Uh, and for any of you that are familiar with the Villeneuve uh, Airport community, it is um, 
there's just really no comparison to how supportive they are to one another and of this council and of the partners in the Villeneuve Landing Network to seize the opportunities here uh, for the entire region. I would like to thank uh, Celebrations uh, Flair Catering uh, from Sturgeon County for providing a lovely lunch. I see there's some sweets on the table that we might need to get us over that 2 p.m. bump in the afternoon. And thank you to the St. Albert uh, Chamber for being uh, staunch supporters of the Villeneuve Landing Network and for inviting me here with my team today to give you an update on what's happening in Sturgeon County. And to all of you, thank you for allowing me to share a few of these exciting things. I know you're all very busy people and I hope you found some value in what we were uh, offering here today. And uh, certainly just welcome anybody who's willing to join us on a very exciting and promising future. Thank you very much.